Okay, this is a story right here that I heard about in passing, but I never got an opportunity to get around to doing. And I think Lisa talked about this on her channel and someone brought it up to me. And with the extreme gruesomeness of the story, I'm like, it's just it, it sounds like something that came straight out of a horror movie for real, to be quite honest. So in this picture, you see a, a, a teenager by the name of Aiden Fucci. And he stabbed this girl who lived in Florida 114 times. You heard that correctly. 114 times, which means he stabbed her while she was still alive and stabbed her long after she was already dead. Like she was dead and he was still stabbing her. But it's come out to say that not only will he be charged with first degree murder, but he's also going to be tried as an adult. So nine times out of ten, he most likely doesn't even have a bail of any kind, which would be perfect for someone like this. But I'm going to go ahead and get into this article. This is a northeast Florida teen accused of stabbing and killing a 13 year old classmate will face a first degree premeditated murder charge and will be tried as an adult. During a press conference Thursday afternoon, 7th Judicial Circuit State Attorney R.J. Larizza announced the change in charges for 14-year-old Aiden Fucci in the death of Tristan Bailey. And this person looks older than 14. I would have never pinned him for 14. This is my job to make these decisions along with the executive team. And while we're sad and we certainly don't take no pleasure in it, this is our duty and we looked at the facts. We looked at the law and I got to tell you, in the circumstances of his offense, there was no other alternative, said Larissa. The juvenile system is geared for kids maybe with drug issues or that commit nonviolent crime. The adult system is where this case belongs. The St. John County Sheriff's Office announced earlier this month that a medical examiner had determined that the cause of death for Bailey was sharp force trauma by stabbing. The manner of death was ruled a homicide. Larissa confirmed during Thursday's press conference, Fucci stabbed Bailey 114 times with a folding buck knife, which is commonly used for hunting. In addition to stabbing the 13-year-old girl, an arrest report from the sheriff's office stated Fucci admitted to engaging in an argument with Bailey in which he forcefully pushed her to the ground, striking her head. He did not admit to the stabbing, however. Initially, Fucci was arrested and charged with second-degree murder in connection with his classmate's death. Bailey was reported missing by her family on Mother's Day morning and was the subject of a statewide missing child alert. According to deputies, a resident who went out to help search for the girl found her body later that evening in the woods. It started out as just a few kids getting together and hanging out, but it didn't end that way, Larissa said. Following the press conference, Bailey's family released the following statement. <clears throat> With the press conference sharing details of this heinous crime, the caring and love shown from the people and the businesses to raise up the memory of Tristan and the resolve of our community served as a beacon of light in the darkness. As we move forward, we will seek to help keep Tristan's memory alive in the spirit of the community. That's crazy. Well, what's even crazy is the fact that he only admitted to pushing her. He didn't admit to the more gruesome part of it, which was stabbing her 114 times. Like, imagine being in the coroner's office and you have to sit there and count those stab wounds to come up with that number. And then you probably had to count more than once just to make sure that you did not miscount. Like, I have to give it to them. Like, they have a very, very tough job. Like, the people who work at the morgue, they have a very, very tough job when it comes to situations situations such as these. But I still don't believe, like, I can't believe that this person that I'm looking at on my screen is 14. Like, I would have never pinned him to be nobody's 14. He looks old. He looks old as fuck. Like, for real, for real. So that lets me know if he looks like this at 14, imagine what he's going to look like when he's 30. But yeah, like that's that is insane. That is wild. That like what would drive someone to do something like that? It said that it started out as an argument, but I wonder if he liked her or something like that and she didn't like him, whatever the case may actually be, like and everything like that. That's that's really that's wild. That's crazy. But I'm going to be honest. I saw a picture of her, or I'm looking at a picture of her as I'm looking at this, and she doesn't even look 13. I don't know what's going, because she looks older. It looks like he looks older. Like when, So when I saw that their ages were the ones that they had them at, I'm like, 
are they sure? I don't want to, you know, make it seem like that, but I'm just being honest. Um, there's no, like I'm just saying a lot of these teenagers or these preteens are looking older nowadays, but I think that's it's something in the food that's the, that's causing them to look older, like the hormones or whatnot. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. Yeah. But the fact that they said they're going to try him as an adult, that just means, you know, he's listen, life imprisonment. They might as well just throw the book at him now. Cause I don't think there's any way they're going to let him walk away from that. Like, there's no way. There's absolutely no way they're going to let him walk away from that. And he just better be lucky. Well, I, I can't speak too soon because I don't know if they do if they don't. I don't know if Florida has capital punishment or not. But if they did, oh, he would most likely get the death penalty. Like, this has death penalty written all over it. Like, I don't know what would drive someone to stab somebody that many times. <clears throat> like I said, <clears throat> She was alive, so she had to feel those stab wounds, or the stab, or the knife, the knife going into her body, and then she was already dead. Because nine times out of ten, she was dead, more, but way before he got to his last stabbing, from the bleeding and whatever artery he most likely hit. But yeah, and he has this look on his face, like his this very nonchalant look on his face, like he just didn't care. I don't, like I said, they said they were arguing, but we'll never know what the argument was about unless he actually says what it was about. And I bet you he, like I said, I bet you he liked her and he, she probably didn't like him like that. She probably turned down his advances and said he pushed her or something. So he was clearly being the aggressor in this situation. Who knows what he was trying to do? But this is just, it's just crazy. And I think what's making it even crazy is the fact that both of these two individuals were teens. Both of them are teenagers. This wasn't two adults. And they were two and they were both young teens at that. They weren't like 17 and 16, 13 and 14. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next one.